Okay, we're back in Nomi. Need to get set up. I'm mining some tin, I guess. After a bunch of mining and a bunch of smelting, we got a bunch of this stuff here. We got our quests here for more materials. So that one's done. Apparently we also unlock the quest for holding a stack of copper, which I will yoink. And uh, yeah, we... We're doing slightly okay. I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff in here. We found a bunch of aluminum, um, some ilmenite for titanium, some bauxite for more aluminum, some quartzite for quartz, and uh, other stuff, a bunch of aluminum. Um, this granite also can be pulverized into red granite dust, which can then be electrolyzed into aluminum, and potassium feldspar, which gives us even more aluminum. So we got a good, good bit of aluminum here. Actually, that needs to go up in this chest. There we go. Um, this black granite, I believe, is also aluminum. To some extent, yes. And silicon and other stuff we need to... White granite will be useful later on. But yeah, we have a bunch of stuff. This goes in here. 
Um, but yeah, here's our three important things. We have tin, we have copper, we have iron. We have 300 and some odd iron, 650 copper, and 19 tin. Tin is a little bit uh, shy right now. Let me make sure all these are clear. Yeah, now we have 42, but that's still... That ain't gonna cut it. However, I did just find some more. So now we have 66. We have over a stack. Let's go. Cool. I found a little bit of uh, a lapis vein, some lazurite, um, lapis, and sodalite, all of which can be processed into aluminum, actually. But, I mean, that's kind of a pointless acquisition of aluminum when there's easier ways to do it. There we go. That's done. What do we... We come out with a raw 70. Alright, well... These are extremely useful. I don't have any leather. Actually, I think I do. I do not. Can't believe I have these drill cores. Okay, there's a lot of this that just needs to be smelted into just iron or what have you. Oh, this is uh, titanium and aluminum. Wow. How nice. Nice. Um, another stack. Just looking for full stacks of... It's almost a full stack. Alright, so... Just going to keep smelting and keep mining, and I'll be back. Hello everybody, you rejoin me as we're collecting string and making sure we didn't miss any chests like this one. Um, I care about bread, I'm in peaceful, but... Here I'll take... The torches I'll probably take. But yeah, we're just uh, collecting string, and I'm going to go mining here in the next little while. We need more iron. In fact, that's why I came to the overworld, was to go mining. Yeah, here we are, not going mining. Yep, need those. Uh, Yep. So, yeah, I will be back. Cue the montage. This red granite is actually super useful as well. We can process it into red granite dust, which we can then get aluminum from. And aluminum is something we're going to be pretty short on here in the early game, so I'm going to probably mine out most of this red granite vein, as well as we found some iron. We have the, the limonite vein here, this yellow limonite and brown limonite are both iron. Yellow limonite and brown limonite are both iron, and pyrite or banded iron is obviously iron as well, and then there's malachite in this vein as well, so for copper. So I'm just gonna, I'll be here for a while, and we'll see you in a minute.
<clears throat> now we're getting somewhere. Getting some iron. Getting some copper built up. And I'm working on... I think I'm going to do... Uh, this texture here for the for the exterior of our chunks. Then we're just going to leave the middles of cobblestone because that saves me chisel time. And something else I want to work, work toward is the... Yeah, this uh, item dislocator. Oh, this is way more expensive. Hang on. Just kidding. This, the flexo magnet, which I think we could probably make actually, but it needs power to uh, to work. Uh, I do have the lead. I could make it. But yeah, it needs power. So, and I don't really have power generation yet. So we're gonna work on that later, I guess. But um, as for right now, let's go back and look at our quest book. I think we've done enough mining. Now, let's do this. We need 20 tin and 36 copper. Uh, I did get some tin, I think. It's manganese. I thought I had some tin. Did I get any tin ore? Oop. All right, well, guess I'm not done mining. Wow, that tin vein was a lot bigger and a lot richer than I thought. I came out with five and a half stacks of tin and a stack and three quarters of cassiterite, and I didn't even mine like, I mined like one three by three layer, maybe 30 by 30 by three, like not, not a lot. So there's a lot of tin in there. Um, I guess I'll just throw Throwing them in here. And collect the rest of our iron that's still cooking. Finally, have a decent bit of iron, and this makes me happy. Because I was getting a little worried about our iron supply. Point where we should stick it in a chest, or a storage drawer, I mean. That's good copper, too. Good, 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 good. All the things a man could ever want. Including way too much tin. Alright, yeah, that's that quest done. Also cranking out experience, which is good. I have a bunch more iron in here to smelt to have, what, five or six more stacks? Okay, more like ten stacks. Ten more stacks of iron and two more stacks of copper, looks like. A bunch of redstone, a bunch of ruby. Yeah, we're, we're pretty-ish set. I need to go mining in the coal graphite vein again, but we'll get to that. Anyway, let's claim our quest here. He gave us two Nomi Nickels, which is cool. Alright, looks like next up we need to crush a bunch of this stuff. And make some conductive iron and some red alloy. So we need iron, we need a bunch of redstone. We don't really need the tin at the moment. I'm just going to put all this away. Put a bunch of these blocks in here. Another stack of quartz blocks I didn't convert. Dump. Cool, so we probably need like this. Good stack of each and a lot more than that much mortar. So this should work. That did not work. Okay. How close are we? Oh, we only needed 16 of that, but that's okay. Um, 
make another mortar. Pretty easy. It's just some stone, which I did smelt a bunch of. And never you fear, we will be making... Uh, we'll probably be making quite a few mortars, actually. Why does that take five durability? Oh well. Cool, we have our iron dust, we have our copper dust, now we just need to do this and this to make conductive iron dust and red alloy dust, which is three to one, maybe? The other way, three to one? Two to one. I make red alloy dust, I forgot. Now look at the quest book, see what it says. Copper dust mixed with redstone dust. Okay, so how make? Oh, one to four, okay. Okay, there's a full stack of each of those. Now I need to smelt it. Alright, well, conveniently, I now have a bunch of empty furnaces. That aren't as empty as they should be. That'll probably do 12. Maybe I don't actually know. This will probably do like 3. That's still going. Alright, give me a stack of graphite. Maybe divvy it up into... Actually, just give me a bunch of... Like 12s. That'll give me... 4. Right, that'll be with that, and then this red alloy probably also just to be dealt with like that. Do that and that, and that. It's more. All right, well, I have everything basically. I don't have enough of those, but I need to make uh, 16 into plates. I need my hammer. Okay, there's that done, and then I need to make those into wire, or what you need my wire cutters for. Okay, right, some red alloy wire. I need some conductive iron plates, which I need some more conductive iron for. Alright. Put that in and here. Make our conductive iron plates, and then we can make our 16x conductive iron cable, like this. Uh, hello? Cool. And there's our quest done. From dusts to wires. Um, yep, our goal is to get uh, this circuit done, and then this the CEF probably done. And we want to make the 16x, just because 
we want to go straight to 16 amps. Put that down, throw it in there. So I know I'm going to need two 16x conductive cables, which means I'm going to need a bunch more. I made a full stack. Uh oh. Oh, these aren't done yet. I was like, I'm missing two. When I have stacks of tin. Bunch of iron. I might cook all this iron. Cook all the stuff we have a full stack of. Throw the tin in there, get these out of here. I'm gonna make these direct into wires, and I'm gonna make them direct into 16x wires for our CEF. Okay, we're hanging on to those. In fact, I might make another stack. I need a lot of conductive iron. Get all this stuff smelting. And I will see you in like an hour when this is all done smelting. And hopefully we'll have made some progress. Now, all those are done. It was really only about half an hour. These are all done cooking. And while we were gone, I set up a couple of uh, dirt chunks here. 
as you can see, they're fully chunk aligned, they're outlined with this this uh, circular connected cobblestone texture. Uh, I'm planting, I'm going to plant rubber trees in this one. As you can see, I have our three saplings. And this one's going to be oak trees, and it'll just be... Yeah, and we're going to get, we're going to get oak trees going for wood for um, charcoal. We're going to get rubber going for wood for charcoal and for rubber, of course. Um, because we need this, this rubber here. Um, to make... Not to make saplings, although that's good to know, but to make these rubber sheets, which we need for literally everything, and to fluid extract into rubber to make coated cables and stuff. Because we can do that in the assembler. But uh, now that all this is smelted, I'm going to pick it all up and see what we got. All right, so we now have over a thousand iron, which is good. We have two hundred copper, which isn't good, but I know where there's copper, and so I'm gonna go mining for copper probably between episodes. But uh, this should be enough. Well, I don't know if that's enough copper, but this should be enough stuff at least to get us set up to get started on some actual. Oh, look at that! Our trees are growing well. Some actual infrastructure and some power. So the first thing we need is a sterling. Nope, that's not true. A kind of type generator. Not a generator. I mean, we could use a extra utilities generator. What we're going to do, or what we want, is a... Come on, brain. Do the thing. Well, <laughs> let's use the quest book. Quest book says... We need power. To get power. Yes, a steam dynamo. That's what we want. Dynamo. Alright, so we need some uh, fluid conduits here to start with. We're gonna... We need some glass. We need some conduit binder. Conduit binder is clay, gravel, sand. Don't really have any clay or any gravel. Hmm. You can make gravel pretty easy just by using a mortar, which is still in the inventory. Yeah, like that. Okay, we've got some gravel, and we've got some sand. How do we make... I'm going to have to go find some clay, so give me a second. Right, so, got home, got some clay, made some conduit uh, binder... Made some conduit binder and composite, which we make with the uh, gravel, sand, clay we needed. We had enough to make 40, and this gives us two each, so it gives us, uh, it will give us a total of 80. And then I'm making some glass here as well, so that we can make our um, where's the recipe? Here it is. Our pressurized fluid conduit. That's what we needed for the quest for that quest and then we need a water source which i'll get to but we're working towards this steam dynamo you make two two i'll make two or eight of those i guess all right then i'm gonna need an infinite water source which is fairly simple um, just a bunch of cobblestone, really, I think. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Water. Yeah. Oh, no, it's raw. Oh, right. It's wrought iron and water buckets. And then we probably want to go for this one, which means we need eight of these, which means 
6 times 8 is 48 times 2 is a lot more wrought iron than we have. I'm going to make two more stacks of wrought iron. And suck up the rest of this glass. And I'll be back in just a second. Alright. I also set up this uh, auto smelter. Through some of the graphite we had in there. And I'm mostly going to use this to make uh, charcoal. And these furnaces, this is probably going to last us for a long time and replace all of this. These furnaces are definitely going to get upgraded. Um, I just don't quite want to use the iron and gold and copper and diamonds and stuff on it right now. But they'll definitely be, I'll probably do that off camera, go mining again and go crazy on resources. Um. But yeah, um, yeah, I just threw all the graphite we had in there. I'll make this coal now. Or, hmm, better yet, take that one in. And I'm kind of hesitant to burn our coal because we need coal dust for other stuff in the future. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm making some wrought iron. Um, we also get apples, which, can I actually do anything with apples? Make golden apples. And make cores fruit somehow. Need them to make spider eyes. And centrifuge them into methane, which could be useful, I suppose. Um, oh, well, you can make notch apples, that's cool. Uh... You can make magical apples, or you can make hooch, use them in the culinary generator. Huh, I may just set up a culinary generator just as a passive delete apples mode, and just, um, how do I put apples into it? I don't know. But for now, I guess I'll chuck them in here. I need to clean up my inventory, jeez, such a mess. I'm gonna put the clay away in somewhere. I'm gonna make another couple of storage drawers, looks like. Whoops, that doesn't go there. Oh, shoot. That was a bad idea. Well, I did not think that the lumber axe would break the drawer like that. I really didn't. Hope I didn't lose too much. Falling off the edge there. Oh well. Looks like I lost some redstone. Sucks. Oh well. My goal was, before I dumped everything, to put 
put sand and gravel or sand and dirt in their own storage drawers. And the last one will be for charcoal. Whoops. Yeah, I messed up. Oh, wait, no, the last one will not be for charcoal. It'll be for no beings, because that's what it's for. Charcoal can just go in here. Alright, oh, rubber trees have grown. I'm trying to get this rubber tree uh, farm maxed out as soon as possible. Because this is a major source of a lot of things for us. getting this to be set up the exact same way as the other one, but it's obviously not full up yet, but... getting somewhere. I only made a slight giant mess and dropped a bunch of redstone off the edge, but that's okay. We have plenty of redstone, honestly. Because I can go like this. And each redstone order six, so that's sixty per out of a stack of redstone or that's um a lot of redstone. Real quick. But yeah, we got our pressurized fluid conduits in here, I think. These okay, there's some stuff in here that needs to not be. The sugar cane needs planted, but I don't have water yet. Um, I'm gonna go... Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw this glass in here. I'm gonna take some of this cobble. Gonna make us an infinite water source. Um, so yeah, let me run and do that real quick. Uh, water is pretty easy to find. Wow, look, water. Go back home. Dump the water. I go back to the overworld. Grab the other water source block. I go back home. I dumped this in the other corner, and now we have infinite water. Yay, water for days. Um, I do need another bucket. I don't think I have. So it looks like I'm gonna need my wrench, my hammer. I think I need a wrench. Bucket's not just a bucket, right? Oh. Don't need the wrench, but I do need the ham. There's that. All right. Okay. Um, now I just need a whole hell of a lot of, I think I need 48. Is that what I said? Some plates, yeah. Yep. 
Yep. So I want the not small one. So I gotta do this eight times. Which would be more convenient if I had more buckets, but you know. Whoa, we're halfway there. Got those. Now I need one of my random bronze that I have found. I'm going to make the compact water source. It's a better one. It's actually like eight times as good, but it's in one block, which is more convenient. Now, put this down, and it's going to make water chunks at a time. There. Now we're going to work on this steam dynamo, which we need silver for. And some wrought iron gears, and some copper plates, and some gold rods. We need a bunch of stuff for this. So we're going to take oh, probably 16 of these. We're going to make them into rods. How do we make gold rod? Oh, that's the file, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't actually need 16 then. I need probably 8. Which are probably only 6. And a bunch of redstone. Uh, need 2 of these. I think I only needed 1 of those, but... Nope, I did need 2. Okay, then I need some red alloy plates, which... Oh. Which I don't have, but I can make. Mm. I know I need one of those. I'm going to mark this made those. Um, I need an iron furnace, copper plate, and that. Okay, so I need some silver, which I we have a wee bit of. Okay, there's those. There's that off the list. I need a bunch more wrought iron. I need eight plates, and then I need two gear. Yep, okay, so there's that. Um, bam, there's those, and then I need that for the two gears. I need the screwdriver for the gears. Oop, do 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 do. Click, click, twice. Need a couple of copper plates. That done, and then this is just a bunch of iron and a furnace. Thankfully, I can just blink a furnace. That should have worked, but sure. Okay. Yep, now we're up to 700 redstone again. Um, don't need the gold, don't need that copper. Okay, now I just need some iron. 
Make an iron furnace. And then we should be good. Bam. Beam dynamo. Done. Click, click, clack. Done. So now that we have automatic charcoal and a water source. Make electricity. Not very fast, but we can make it. That is important. Let's go. All right, now I need to make some of these, which I need some more conductive iron. Just previously. Just gonna make three more of these because I have six raw iron in my inventory. Thinking about it, that. Chuck those in there. Chuck all this stuff in there, actually, including the buckets and the random furnace. The blocks back in the block chest. Oh, another furnace. Actually, no. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do this and this. Make some more dust. Split it out to 11s or 10s, I guess. Oh, wait, can I get it to sixes? And still have four. Yeah, that's off, I guess. I don't have any graphite, do I? No. In that case, I'll just get it to eight. And then do this. Now I can do this. And this will get it to me quick. Cool. Oh, we'll get that smelting up. We'll make some conduits. And then we can make some other some some cool stuff here. I gotta have a circuit for CEF, right? Yeah. Circuits are a pain in the butt. Yep. Need... Oh, I gotta do that quest? Ooh. Cherry leaves and... Okay. Need to shear some leaves. And I need to make shears. Is that not how you make shears? Okay. It's not how you make shears. Need hammer and file. Apparently I need some more iron. Alright, let's do this. Let's make some shears. We'll run to the overworld, get some leaves cooking. That's the wrong way around. Actually, we don't even need to go to the overworld. We'll just get some leaves here. Cool. Now I just gotta pick them all up. Yeah, now I have power. I really want to invest in that dislocator. So I can have a magnet. Um, in my other playthrough, I didn't go for the magnet, the, the item magnet, until way too late. What do I do with the craft and the plant bolts? Okay.
And I cook them into slime balls. It's fine. Do need to work on getting stuff done in the diamond department, but we'll work on that in a minute. Or the next episode, I guess. I'm just gonna throw this stack of trees here and pick it all up and get it all in the cooker for charcoal. We basically want to keep the charcoal thing going indefinitely. Um, until we get automated sugarcane set up, which I will work on getting done here shortly. Putting the trees back up, you know, the drill. it we were positive one <laughs> nice out of all that we were positive one sapling that just that just that ain't got, well to be fair i did cut down a lot of trees, so there's that i suppose all right got that one done these are still cooking away what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these out of here i'm gonna put them in this one I'm going to chunk all the wood in here and it will divvy up evenly. Well, evenly-ish. It won't be quite even, but it'll be close enough. I give those easy slime balls right off the bat. And then I need to make the rubber with the hammer like this to get the quest. There's that quest done. Rubber sheets. It's done. I need to coat my three red alloy cables, which is just crafting them with those three rubber sheets. That one is pretty easy. Now I need to make a bunch of stuff. Oh look, more conductive iron. Yeah, baby. Or hot iron, too. Let's go. Um, am I the only one that finds it slightly annoying that it takes an entire stack of conductive iron to get two 16x wires? Although, I mean, once we get a wire mill, that isn't hard. Yeah, we are making some serious progress here. So, uh... Give this a second here, and... Yeah, and then... I'll be back in a couple of minutes, I gotta... It's not anything. Cut that out. I'm just uh, here crafting up some the ingredients we need, like some copper wire, 
So we need all these things. Uh, we need these. We need these. We need these. And those are pretty easy. I'll just make some of those right now. I will make as many as I can. Stack and I isn't too many. To make a bajillion more here if I wanted to. Bunch of them. Yeah, so that should be way more than enough coded circuit boards. Um, let's mark that off the list here. Now we need vacuum tubes, for which we need paper. And glass tubes, which need a lot of glass panes, which is why I made a bunch of glass earlier. I'm literally going to make all of this into those glass tubes. I don't use this 36. And we need, I think, for, yeah, we need two. We need a bunch of red alloy cable. We need a bunch of, oh, we need a lot of red alloy cable. Yeah, I'm going to try. So in Greg Tech, um, as with most things, we want to, or, well, not as with most things. With most things in Greg Tech, you want to batch craft as much as possible. So I need some more copper. Um, copper and cold dust, I think, is our limiting component right now. And paper. Make some coal dust. I didn't bring home any sh Oh, I did bring home sugar cane. And I have water. And sand. Um, I need, what do I need for snat? I think I just need double compressed sand. Um, yeah. Let me make some compressed sand here. And then some double compressed sand, and then a piece of snad. I'll uncompress the rest of my sand. Put it back. I'm gonna need it for glass. But uh yeah, this so this piece of snad no don't do that. Can go here. And then the sugar cane can go on top of it. And snad is very unique in that it can make a um when given a redstone pulse. Know how you make that? That was how you make some conduit. Am I tripping? Oh, we need red. Um, it's not. I'm just gonna make a lever. Upper clock? Mm, not too much iron. I'll just make a lever for now. All right. Well, um, give me a second. No, of course not. Anyway, SNAD is unique in that when you give it a redstone signal, it grows. It, it does a growth tick for whatever it's on top of. Or it, it, it gives a growth tick to the sugar cane or bamboo or cactus or whatever you have. That is there. And we're going to automate this in a minute. Or, well, we're going to more fully automate this in a little while. But for right now, I need some paper. And this is a convenient and simple way to get it.
needed some paper. Now, with this and this and this, we ought to be able to make some vacuum tubes. Five. I need more copper wire. I'm just going to make a whole half stack, I guess. Our wire cutters will go that far. Will not. That's okay. I just need one more of these, I think. For right now. And then we need some resistors. Um, and that should give us our circuit, I think. Oh, right iron plates. Right. Make a few of those as well. Plates. That should give us our circuit. Just the one. Yeah, that's our electronics components. And that's our circuit. That. I'm going to need a lot more of those before I get to the tier twos. So, yeah, my, it's going to be a giant mess here um, for a while. But uh, I will probably do some stuff off camera between episodes, but I think... But I think that's going to do it for this episode. We got our circuit. We got it done. We got our circuit. Look at that. That ain't a thumbnail. I don't know what is. Alright, well, uh, my name is TJ, and I will catch you in the next episode of Nomi Factory.